you know, you, you tell anyone that you have a problem with, with alcohol or, or that you're an alcoholic and, and they give you this look, you know what I mean, like, like you're scum. And you get it all the time, you know, random people off, off street giving you lip like, oh fuck off, you're an alcoholic. I'm like, aye, cheers mate, no fucking shit. You know, for them it's no big deal saying stuff like this for, you know, a few cheap laughs, but, but for me that stuff, that stuff sticks and it cuts you deep, you know. You know, people don't understand that, that I'm a living creature too and uh, I do have feelings. Hello, my name's Dave, I'm a mite, and I'm an alcoholic. You know, there's something that's overlooked really. You know, you get lads and ladies out every night having a drink and a laugh. You know, so to them alcohol isn't seen as being that bad. You know, after you sink a few, you, you feel on top of the world without cares or worries. And, you know, I think that right there is what's, what's addictive. You know, although for, for a moment you finally forget about all your problems and the bottle seems to be the only thing in life that can you know, grant you a bit of peace and happiness. You know, naturally I'm an, I'm an angry mate, you know. I'm angry at heart and I will always look for conflict, you know, even where there is none. And that's just me and I think what really made me realise I had a problem was the fact that I kept getting into unnecessary fights, you know, with guys like five, ten times the size of me. You know, one night a mate of mine actually uh, recorded it on his phone and showed it to me. Embarrassed was an understatement. Not only did I look like, like a drunken idiot, I lost the fight and I reckon if I was sober, I'd have knocked that cunt clean out. Come on then, you fucker. Yeah, I'll fucking do you then, you cunt. Come on, fucking give it to me. What are you gonna fucking do? Jizz on me, you fucking web weaving bastard. You know, it weren't, it weren't always like this, you know. You know, I had, I had kids and a family, but after I lost them, I turned to the bottle as comfort and I just never really stopped. You know, we, we're misunderstood creatures, I think. My kids had anger issues too, but you know, admittedly not as bad as mine. And, you know, sometimes they'd, they'd play this game with each other where they'd leap at the other one and, and you know, give them a little pinch, a little a little bite. You know, their kids, they, they don't know any better. And on the day they died, you know, sent me over the edge. A, a couple of humans came running about, you know, I don't know if you've, if you've ever seen them, there's about four, always knocking about here. And, and I think I speak for every insect when I say they're all, they're all cunts. Anyway, a couple came running, running up here. I mean, two little kids, never, never seen a human before, you know, ran up and started playing a little game, you know, jumping and, and pinching, and after about two pinches, those fuckers, they got out hammers. Sorry. <laughs> oh. They got out hammers and, and squat them. <laughs> and the worst part is, is we couldn't even bury them because they took the bodies with them. <laughs> Used them as <laughs> props in their house. And my missus. Oh no, no, she's she's not dead. She she put on a few pounds and you know started shagging Derek down the road. So I went round, slapped him out of it, and then uh, had a few rounds on Derek. Took him outside, curb stomped him. You know I like Mike Tyson. But yeah, after that I, I just threw her, threw her out, fucking fat slag. But yes, what what led to me turning into a life of drunken misery. You know, never in my life would I think I'd be on the streets, sleeping under leaves, asking ants or weevils for food and money, you know, giving sexual favours just to get by. You know, sometimes I, uh, I walk down to the water and I, I take a long hard look at myself and, and all I see looking back at me is a disgrace. Yeah, I got a few pictures here of me when I were, I were younger. God, look how good I looked. Beautiful, bright red complexion. Oh, a proper answer, mate. Oh, he, he, oh, he's, a, he's a few of your kids, too. God. <laughs> Look at that. Look just like their old man they did. <laughs> now it's all just a vivid memory. Yeah, I've been living like this on the streets now for three days. You know, but it seems like an attorney. And then I think it's time I mustered up the courage and I did something about it. Sitting here drinking my life away ain't gonna do me no good. 
and the only one who can turn my life around is me. Too long I've I spent feeling sorry for myself and taking out my frustrations on others. But I say enough is enough. You know, I'm leaving this life in, in search for a better one. A fresh start. A new chapter. A great man once said, I'm starting with a man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. No message could have been any clearer. And if you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and then make the change. Who? 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 Na na na, na na na, na na na, na. Whoa, whoa, whoa.